AIO or all-in-one coolers are often referred to as high-performance CPU coolers that are designed to mitigate the overall temperature of a processor by properly dissipating the heat and keeping your processor safe. The term AIO is used because these types of coolers are comparatively safer, more effective at cooling, and easier to install. These coolers come in a variety of sizes, and in this video, we're going to talk about which size is the best for you. So, without further ado, let's get started. The 120mm variant is allegedly the most commonly used radiator all around the world since it has the perfect size to fit inside almost any case. Also, it's the most affordable radiator type, making it an instant hit for everyone. Used primarily for low to mid-range components, a single 120mm radiator is more than enough for you if you have a single non-overclock CPU and don't want them to go through the hassle of getting a larger radiator that won't fit your casing. It usually houses a single fan with different RPMs depending on your chosen manufacturer. These radiators are ideal for compact builds as people these days are more into minimalism. Now turning it up a notch, we have the 240mm radiators which are quite obvious from the numbers are twice the size of a normal 120mm radiator. 240mm radiators are also very popular to people who have a mid-range PC with a mid-tower casing as this will give you the ability to use two 140mm fans for optimal cooling. This dual fan setting makes it the perfect sweet spot for when you want a more efficient cooling solution in a mid-tower casing. Basically, if you got the space and want to delve into the world of overclocking without increasing the clock speed, the 240mm radiator cannot be any more perfect. As it's the most popular type of radiator, you're gonna find it everywhere regardless of the brand. However, bigger doesn't necessarily mean better cooling than the 120mm radiator, as the concept of diminishing returns in sizing is very real in terms of the radiator sizing. Overall, if you don't mind some extra noise but want to efficiently cool your mid-tower PC, go for the 240mm. Now on to the big boys of the group, the 360mm radiators. A lot of cases we see nowadays support 360mm radiators on the top and the front, indicating that it's moving up on the scale of popularity. The bigger size obviously allows more cooling capability, whereas the more thermal capacity of the actual heat changer allows you to run it at a lower RPM thus resulting in an overall quieter operation that's less intrusive while having a lot more air volume simultaneously. Having more air volume means more air going through the heat exchanger, resulting in better cooling and slower heat buildup and quicker cooldowns while overclocking your PC to the maximum. These radiators can house up to three 120mm fans, thus resulting in quicker cooling, but at the expense of an audibly distinguishable noise that many users might not like. Other than these common variants, there exist sizes comparatively smaller and larger in terms of radiators. For example, AlphaCool Nexus ST2592 mm radiator could have been considered as a gold standard 10 years ago. Whereas the bigger and heavier variants like the enormous Nexus XT45 560mm practically elevate the CPU cooling to the next level. At the end of it all however, it all comes down to your personal preference. So all of them box down to one simple yet complicated question which size of radiator is simply the best. First of all, you need to make sure your chassis can house your radiator properly since in terms of priority, you need to make sure you get the largest size that will fit into your chassis comfortably. If you have a mid-tower casing, going for the 240mm radiator would be the best overall option. And if you have a smaller chassis like a mini tower PC case, go for a 120mm radiator as they have the perfect blend of performance and form factor. And finally, if you have a big boy chassis like a full tower PC case, you should definitely go for the 360mm radiators to keep all the beefy components cool. So, that was a video on which is the best AIO cooler size. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and comment below to let us know your thoughts. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.